Hi, this is Marissa Pagano from Liberty Game Calls, and today I'm going to show you how to put the bands um, on your Ridgeback Bugle. Bugle. And this is how it will show up. So it comes with um, a lanyard, and um, it comes with a tower and a cap that goes over the top. So when you open this up, what you'll see is some extra bands, um, a yellow or orange mouthpiece inside the cap. I'll just leave that in there for now. And then, um, so that keeps everything protected. And then when you open this up, you'll expose the tower and the mouthpiece. So, so um, to first, you want to go ahead and remove this. Um, if the band isn't already placed for you, I do try to put bands on for people. Um, before I ship them out. But um, anyway, if you're replacing a band or you need to get this mouthpiece off, go ahead and just squeeze it and then just kind of rattle it back and forth a little bit. And this one's going to be so in. Here's the mouthpiece and we're going to go ahead and um, replace the bands on the mouthpiece. So what I want is to get a new band and the white coating you see here is just a little bit of cornstarch. Um, you can put cornstarch on your bands if you need to um, to keep them from dry, you know, um, kind of rolling up on you, getting that sticky feeling. That'll keep that from happening. Um, so when I go to do the band on the mouthpiece, what I want to do is go ahead and open the band up like that so. to the mouthpiece. So I keep this as flat as I can. So if you can, can see, from that, that is flat. It's going on flat. It's not rolled up. It's flat. It's a flat. And so then I go ahead and expand it out, keeping it flat the whole time that I'm doing this flat. So now it's going, it's on about like that. So it's pretty flat. It's not rolled up. Um, it does have a couple little creases in it, but we're going to work on that here in just a second. Okay, here we go. So now that we have the band pretty much on and it's pretty well flat, we don't have much work to do from here. So the only it's thing we need right to do from here there's now, a, there's actually a groove. Is, yes. There's a groove here at the very top, you can see, and there's a small groove at the bottom. So what you'll get, this will usually, typically sometimes well, these will be just a little bit longer and this will be a little bit um, shorter in the middle. Sometimes they go clear across, um, but either way, you want that space to be closed here and you want that to come up and close the space up in that. Now we have our mouthpiece and it's ready to go onto our mouth uh, onto the tower and so you want to snap that in so snap it and then so now we aren't quite done yet because the other thing that we have to look for is we need to make sure you see how this side's down into the tower and this side's not so we need to be sure that our band is actually down into that little groove. And I'd rather have a little bit of space up here than having the space. You need to make sure that space here, because that's actually where you're going to lose your air. Um, if you're blowing on your mouthpiece, you're going to air get, if this is not closed up, you're going to get air escaping out of here and you're going to, um, it's just not going to you know form to the mouthpiece like we want it to and it's not and the reed will uh, sometimes start to roll up because it's not um you know kind of down um in the tower so in this little mouthpiece this is not really that big of a deal but um you know if you do see a little bit of a curl you can kind of push that out see let's see yeah that's looking a lot better now so and, I, and you can use your fingers a little bit. I try not to use my fingers too much because the, the oils on your fingers get on your bands and it does break down your latex um, quicker. And um, it also can start to bunch on you. And sometimes you have to kind of take this off, put some cornstarch on it and restart it if it starts to roll on you. So now we go to the other side. How do we do on the other side? Um, looks like we do pretty good here. That actually is looking really good. That actually looks really great. So now that we have the band, on it's time to try it so the first time you use this remember I told you that you don't want to blow on this very hard because this band here is still not formed to the mouthpiece very well so um, we want to go 
real slowly at first until this band gets a little bit broken. What it sounds like. Have the green. Okay, here we go. So I'm just blowing softly. It sounds a little weird right at first because I'm getting this band broke in. So, and you're going to hear that baffle system and it's going to sound like a little bit of a double bugle, um, which is actually what it's supposed to do. We're supposed to be getting two sounds, a high pitch and a low pitch out of this because that's actually what elk sound like. They actually have a high pitch and a low pitch that's going on at the same time. So if you hear a little bit of a double bugle, that's actually the tone or the sound you're actually trying to accomplish. And so again, this was just first band, just put it on, um, have never used it. Um, you watched me put it on. Um, and again, blowing very softly. So I'm finally starting to get my bands broken a little bit and I'm starting to get a little bit more of the sound that we're actually trying to get. But don't be concerned if a few times you blow on it, everything just doesn't go perfect the first time out. Even for me, who've been using it, still breaking in a reed or a band has its a little bit of a learning curve to kind of get the band sorted in. And you can tell I'm not blowing very hard, but I'm still getting starting to get a little bit better noise as this band starts to... Um, settle in and my band's not perfect it's not exactly flat but i'm still getting a good sound out of it so let's don't get too clear cool.